All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. How could this phone right here be so feature packed and so nice in comparison to other phones out there that don't offer as much for the price? Mm, yeah, I just said that. So there's a lot to cover in this. So I wanted to knock out a lot of things up front. But first, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this, um, this hardware here. Whoa. This, I'm gonna go over this entire back here too in this video and show you what these can do. But this is the Tank 2. Again, big battery, big screen, lots of functionality. 15,500 milliamps is what's inside of this thing and it is a big boy. It is nice, but this is a metal framing on this portion here. Uh, you've got some drop protection on each corner. Obviously, you see something up here. What is that? Well, that's the projector because this thing is a freaking projector and I'm gonna demo that for you. Uh, but um, here is the volume rocker and these are two function buttons the power button right here and you know what the power button has a secret foot that looks like a regular metal button right check this out it is a fingerprint reader right there in that power button that is actually sick and then you have the metal sim tray which is nice because you do have a sd card slot you can get up to a terabyte now this actually has facial recognition as well let me see here i'm gonna unlock it with the face you can see how fast that was from behind the camera. That's that's crazy. So you're curious about this area right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just knock that out. So I've been using this for a little bit, but before I do so, let, let me let me show you this. This is why I said this is a pretty hot device right here. So I want to show you something. Check this out. First of all, it's running Android 13. Uh, I'm gonna get into system here and Android 13. And it is on the June security patch, folks. The June security patch already. We're at the beginning of June at the recording of this video. It got the update already before some of my... <laughs> I'm saying, that should be a... And it, and it didn't come like that. It came... Actually, I don't even know what it came on because I get two software updates once I got the device out of the package. And I didn't even get a chance to look at that. Uh, but that this thing is on the June security patch and it is on uh, Android 13. That alone is great. Now, um, the screen, you probably can't tell too good, but this is a beautiful. Yeah, you can. You can see that. That Sigma lens is picking this up great. This is a bright display, folks, and it is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I've been using this all day, I charged it to 100 and then I put a couple of apps on it and I started taking photos and just really banging it out and testing the phone out. This phone is so crazy. Now, this obviously isn't my first Unihertz display or Unihertz phone, uh, but this is the Tank 2, and it, they let you know this is the 8849 model. <laughs> it lets you know this is the latest big boy that they offer. Now, this is a thick phone because it does have a 15,500 milliamp hour battery inside, I believe, and it's a big phone. That's just what it is. So I'm gonna crank the volume up here. Because the speaker, I believe, is just this part back here. There's no no top speaker or anything like that, or a bottom firing speaker, because you've got the Type C, and then you've got all the things that this phone has inside of it. I guess they just couldn't figure out how they wanted to do things, so they decided, 
we're gonna go old school and put this speaker on the back but let me show you what that can do so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you these function buttons and you'll get a chance to hear a little bit of the volume but first I'm gonna press this button here oh, let's see here well I think I said it for long press yeah so the toolbox because uh, you can obviously change these to function how you want. I, I got mine set to long press for the toolbox because, folks, this is where everything is at on this phone inside your toolbox. So you've got a camping light, <laughs> underwater camera, obviously, because this is a phone with a serious IP rating and military drop standards. Just look at everything in here. But the two, th the two or three things I want to show you, well, actually, the two things I want to show you is this. The camping light and the warning light. So first, I want to show you the warning light. Now, just look, look at what's all. First, look at the flashlight. This is the flashlight. That little one right up there. So you probably thought that <laughs> that th that these bigger ones would be the flashlight. But check this out. First, I want to show you the warning lights. So just look at this for a second. First of all, look at how many it is. You've got fire alarm one, two, and three. Ambulance one through five. Missile alert. Burglar one, two, three. Air Raid 1 through 5, Buzzer, Nuke Alert, Police 1 through 8, Radar Alert, Car Horn, and Submarine 1 and 2. Folks, it's a lot of stuff in here. Check this out right here. You get the idea. That is freaking sick. That's crazy, right? That's that right there is something that I could actually use. This is definitely going in the car uh, because this that that alone right there is just beast mode. But the camping light is what you probably want to see. So I'm gonna go to that. Now you cannot run this for very long periods of time. It'll tell you that as well because of the sensitivity. So it's <laughs> so crazy. Um, you can set the duration here. I'm just going to set it for five minutes because I had it for 30, but you've got these different modes here. You can do the SOS. You see how bright that is? Okay. You can do explosion flash. Let's go. Hopefully it'll let me use these because it was really tripping. It did not want me to use these. Uh, let me turn on the warm LED and see if it'll allow me to use that one too. Yeah, this is the orange one, if you're wondering. So they're labeled warm and cold. Uh, and you got half brightness. You can turn them both on. And now, it, obviously, try not to look right into the camera. This is this is um, slightly bright. It says, "My bad." <laughs> look at how bright that is. Half bright. It just gets. Look at this. Look at the desk. How it's how it's you know getting uh, lighter and darker. Check this out. Look at that. That's crazy. That's that is ridiculous. And then full bright. That's just stupid. It is. It's just crazy. That is probably one of the best parts of this device, if not the best part, is using the camping lights. Now, I'll show you the projector as well. Um, I'll, I'll show you the projector because the projector basically it projects the the screen up onto. Um, any surface that you want and it has its own app down here this is the projector so I'm gonna cut and turn on the other camera and point this up on the wall and you're getting ready to be amazed check this out okay so the phone is being projected I got it sitting up on the desk here 
uh, and you can project what you want just like that. It projects on the on, from the from the uh, phone to the wall or whatever you want to project it to. It's actually pretty sick. Not a feature I would use a lot, but it is a feature. And so it has it. Anything that's on your phone screen will display on the wall or wherever you want to put it at. So I can go farther out to make it bigger. It's pretty cool. It's really nice. To the naked eye, like recording it, you know, I'd have to drop my frame rate down a little bit, but recording it, it doesn't look nearly as good as it does in person. Trust me. Okay, so those are some of the best features of this, this product. And this can easily be a daily driver. In fact, I won't say, but I know someone that daily drives this. Well, he told me he daily drove it. I was like, whoa, I hadn't cracked the seal on mine yet because he got his before me and I kind of messed around with him online. Uh, but I hadn't cracked mine open yet. And I, I've had this for a couple days, but I just hadn't cracked it open. And I'm finally getting an opportunity to get it open. This is sick. This has got to be one of the best, if not the best, like tank style or rugged style phone that I've ever experienced. It just keeps getting better and better. And I have the Uni, one of the units, uh, one of Unihertz's latest devices. I mean, I'm talking about before this. I'm telling you folks, this thing is sick. This is a wonderful thing, man. This is so crazy how beautiful this display is, man. I'm telling you, I have yet to see, uh, I mean, there's so many advantages to this thing. First of all, it's, uh, it's on the latest security patch and it's running Android 13. That alone, for all you Android enthusiasts, should be something that you should be excited about. Um, I know some people have reserves and have some, you feel some type of way about using a big, thick device like this. But folks, you won't have to charge this thing all weekend. Possibly into the next week. You could probably use this for five days straight. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? We don't know how long this is actually going to, to last. I'm going to test it, though. That's for sure. <laughs> Here it is next to my Ultra. It's like... Three, three and a half times the size of the Ultra or three times the size of the Ultra. Rugged phones are doing the most now. I mean, this thing has facial recognition. It has a fingerprint reader. It has a beautiful display. The speaker may be on the back, um, but the speaker is really, really loud. It's because of that siren type technology. This is a very high decimal on the speaker. So let me fire up a, a video here. Yes. See, it's not a. It's spot. not a bad so speaker, but over video, it probably doesn't sound good to you. But in person, this actually sounds fairly decent because it's it's shooting off the back. This is an amber color. Yeah, it's a, it's a loud speaker. It's just facing the wrong way. Simply put, if I'm being mm -hmm. honest, it's just it's a loud speaker just facing the wrong way. And I think the most important part of this is is this phone is being powered by something that's really not that powerful. But since it's so stock-like, it's, it's running smooth. You've got NFC, you've got everything. Let me get into the settings real quick, too, because... QR, water, NFC, Bluetooth, battery saver mode, hotspot, nearby share. Everything that's on stock Android is right here. It's just that they've got their a slight... Uh, integration of of their uh, things on here that it might seem a certain type of way so um, I love that wallpaper too but you've got um, uh, the the this beautiful display on here and this is what I want to show you the icon see I have it set to pebble but the default icons look like this you see so you can go in here and change all these shapes and I just found that um, I changed it to, to that one because I thought it was super eclectic and it was as close to the round uh, that I would possibly want to get to. Uh, but you've got teardrop. <laughs> There's just a whole bunch of different things you can do with this, man. It, it is just a wonderful, wonderful phone so far in my testing, man. So um, I'll close out with, with the cameras because the cameras on here actually shocked me. They really shocked me. I couldn't believe it. Folks, this is a stock Android device, straight up. 
This is a stock Android device with a few extra tweaks and software things added in here to make it the tank. But other than that, take a look at these cameras on the way out. I think you get ready to be impressed. It's your man Jay. See you in the next one. Take care.